Alright, hello everybody, and welcome to the 7th, or 6th, I am not good at these numbers, episode of my Java Game Tutorial Series. In this episode, we are going to do something so much fun, which is collision detection. So, collision detection is simple. The way we're going to do it is, before we move, we're going to check to see if the new position does not intersect with a solid tile. So th the way we're going to have to do that is we're going to have to change the tiles to public static as well as the player's x and y. Actually, as well as the player's rectangle. There we go. So now, in the key manager, this is where we are going to be for most of this class. I mean, for most of this episode. <laughs> what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to check, uh, create a new int, int new x, int new y. So, now what we're going to do is we're going to have to make sure we set those equal to zero, equal to zero which hopefully does not cause any errors. So, actually, we can't do that. So we have to make sure we set these. Actually, yeah, they have to be equal. Hmm, let me think here, because we can't do that. Um, how about we just set it to player dot... Um, so yeah, player... rectangle dot x and the n new y is gonna have to be equal to player dot rect dot y so now on here we are going to have to do new x new y Is it? Nope. New X. Wait. This is new Y. Whoopsies. Make sure you get these correct or it will not work at all and it will be super buggy. Which nobody wants, you know, do they? So. New Y. And finally, new X. So, now at the bottom here, what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to loop through all of the solid tiles in the world. So, <laughs> in the world. So, how are we going to do that? So, for tile t in world dot tiles, we are going to have to check if t dot is solid. So if the tile is solid, then we continue. So, oh, if t dot is solid. So this will loop through all the solid tiles, and we're going to have to create, um, no, we're going to have to check to see if t, um, in the tile, we have to create a rectangle. So, public rectangle rect. I love saying that. There we go. And now this is going to be equal to a new rectangle. There we go. And in the tick method we're going to have to do rect dot set set bounds to x, y um, size and size then what we're going to do is we're going to x plus world dot x offset y plus world dot y offset. This gets the absolute position of it. So now in our key manager what we can do is we can check to see if t dot rect dot intersects with 
um, if it intersects with the new x, the new y, and the what is the width? Um, the width would be player. We also have to change those to static. I just realized public. Wait. No, we have a rectangle. <laughs> player dot rect dot width and player dot rect dot height. So if it intersects them, we will just break from. Now I wonder. Actually, I don't wonder. Break. Does that break just from the for loop? Okay, so. All we have to do is we have to create a boolean up here. Boolean. Can move. So this is going to be equal to false. So then can move equals false. Also up here we have to set can move equal to true. There we go. So now at the very end here, right after that, we're gonna have to check if can move. So if we can still move, then we'll set um world dot actually we cannot do that. So this is just gonna have to be world dot x offset world dot y offset. Um what's the problem? So now let me think here. So the world um world dot x offset plus no world dot x offset equals new x there we go and world dot y offset equals a new y so now we can go check that so if we run that let's see here if we run into a dirt tile which is solid It does not work. Okay, that was as expected. So let me debug and I will be right back. Alright, so I have fixed it. I have fixed the collision detection and I know how it can work. So I went ahead a bit. Don't worry, I did re undo all my changes so you guys have what I have. And I figured it out. So, how do we do this? First of all, we have to change these to zero. You should not be that way. Now, to this one, we don't have to add the new X, so we can just remove all that. Now, if you do not do have what I have, just make sure that you copy the code. Sorry if it's not that way. Um, I did my best to uh, undo as much as I could. So, this is what it should look like now. Now, down here, we have to do world.x offset plus equals plus equals. Now here we are going to subtract the new x. Oh, I have caps lock, caps lock on. We're going to subtract the new x. What am I doing? And well, here we're going to subtract the new y. So, now if you have the code that I have, which I hope you do, if we run it, and I did decrease my chance of um, uh, dirt spawn so you have more you have to just repeatedly do it until you have a world that you can move around now check this out look at that we have working collision detection so that is it for this episode in the next episode I am not going to tell you what we are doing but believe me it will be fun like this game is coming along so nicely we have a player with collision detection and everything so, that's it for this episode. Thank you, everybody, for watching, and I will hopefully, hopefully see you all next time. Goodbye.